I am back. Ready to press enter a bunch of times while we slowly and steadily climb out of a financial hole. I can't see my gold because the fraps counter is right on top of it. So we'll check it like this. And we're bleeding money real fast, I see. Sitting Bull has 350 in the bank and doesn't have theology, but he does have philosophy. You want feudalism. I'm not too keen on giving feudalism away, but like this is actually doable. How about we uh, discuss it with compass in the mix? Untangled... Okay, we're in financial trouble, but I like this deal. Philosophy is an expensive technology, and it's, it's one you have to get by being commanded, at some point. Do only from fear of the law. And now, compass for aesthetics sounds better because we get 140 art gold along art sake with that. An empty frame. Art for and the you sake have of drama. Art for the sake of the I'm going to give you feudalism for that one. That is the faith that I have no gold per turn either. Is there anybody with some, um, some gold to spare? Julius Caesar has some gold to spare. Seven for clam. Probably not the best deal. Okay, that's that's crappy city number one, but uh, we needed it. Oh, actually, stay put. You can take that guy home. Okay, new are on the way. New settlers are on the way. This guy needs a ride. And he'll get one. Okay, machinery is needed for lumber mills. I know a guy who has machinery. Now we're gonna get it. You just spent all your money on what? That's scary. <laughs> you traded something. Um yeah, let's do cottage then. Oh, no. Don't wanna delete our faithful galley. I do need a workboat once the border pops over here. Actually, you can go home. You can deliver your Christian friend over there. And then take everybody back home. Starting to look a lot more Christian already. Let's uh, get a few more in there. I'm glad I made that switch. I mean, it's fun to have your own religion and spread it to everybody else, but this is one of the few games where I'm just happy to adopt whatever is needed to keep the peace. I even made a, a great friend in Julius Caesar and slowly have surpassed him in points now. That doesn't mean jack shit, really, but uh, it helps. My ego, at least. You've discovered gold. That's good, I can trade it away, and it gives me a little boost as well. You want feudalism for nothing. You're not gonna get feudalism for nothing. However, you might get it for literature, drama, and all your money. This is an expensive tech, I realize that. It's 33. This is 1,000. This is 2,500. Uh, roughly, it's 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 not that bad, really. It's 33 against what is it, 28? That's good. This is uh, one of the missing guys, right? Um, production is the Achilles' heel of this particular island. For that, maybe Apostolic Palace is Some good. So it gives you production bonus for building temples. The men and women and just no idea how to construct it in a hurry. Not a goal. Man in his time plays many parts. I mean, Delhi is a good producing city eventually. For now it needs to churn out uh, these two more settlers. Okay, that's good. Little food bonus. Every bit of a little bit helps. Yeah, that missionary was a good idea. Hmm. I can even put it on automatic. But then I need a workboat close by. Okay. 
fixed. Just slave one. And now this should pop real quickly. Yeah, in ten turns, I'll get the work boat in place, and once it pops, we'll get to work on the fish right away. It's never going to be a great city, but uh, I want this coastline to be uh, done pretty much. I think we'll. Oh yeah, I cannot work this just yet. I need culture on it. We'll get there. Uh, it is time to start working on your health. It's time for the city to quit smoking. Uh, you can stay put. Still available, great profit. Yes, it is. Mausoleum of um, Mausolos has been built, which is fine. Our economy is slowly but steadily climbing out of a very deep hole. 120 a turn on science this particular day and age is horrible. Once again, we have a person here who needs a ride. But I have some faith in, in the literary sense and, and figuratively speaking that once we get... Um, oh, that's a shame. Once we get a priest into Delhi and build a shrine and also some buildings that boost economics, forums for instance, this game might be salvageable. No idea how we'll win. Culture figures I think off the table. Might be space race or something. Let's see, I wanted to produce a granary and then the Apostolic Palace. Let's see if we uh, get lucky. It would be amazing if we still get the Apostolic Palace. The good thing is I can trade Divine Right in a hurry. I really can. I mean the question is do you want to? Because there's a good wonder associated with Divine Right. It makes you a lot of money if you're able to build it. And it stacks quite nicely with um, Apostolic Palace. In fact it stacks amazing with Apostolic Palace. Look at all those resources. This is a great city. I want you to build as fast as you can. Yeah, but uh, contemplating what to do. Apostolic Palace, if I build it, every temple and monastery I build will give plus two hammers, every Christian one. And uh, if I build the one that is associated with Divine Right, this is the Spiral Minaret. I used to call it the Spinal Minaret, I think. Um, that gives plus one gold for all those buildings. Plus one or plus two, I don't remember. Um, so it's all very tempting. And in these times of peace... What's my best building cities? I guess it's Rabbit Hole, right? And then it's Bombay. And then Delhi. Bombay. You're not a half decent city then. I thought you were pretty crap, but you're a good builder. You do this in 80 turns. While growing. Well, this would be 120 turns. If I chop this forest, does it go to you? I doubt it. It's probably for uh, Kumae. It should be renamed, because I... Just remember, I founded some cities here for myself. Um... This will be Reaper X. Got Old Dragon, Mafato, Zirinum. This will be Horse River. And uh, this little piece of crap. <laughs> uh, let's see, anybody 
comes to mind. Does it even fit? I'll do it like this. It ends with a Z, right? I'm doing this from memory, so I hope it works. Hope I got it, some of it right. I guess it's time I start slaving some stuff here or something, because this is not growing as the way I like it to be. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna let this just grow and then do the Apostolic Palace. It probably will be quite a while before it's finished. I doubt we'll get it, but I'm gonna try. And um, regardless, I'm gonna try and build um, that particular world wonder that's associated with Divine Right in Delhi. Even though I have to admit, this city is building rather well as well. Let's do a quick Christian uh, mission. Here we go, Divine Right for Civil Service. This is one that I can trade away uh, quite happily if I uh, have that wonder going. Double production speed with stone. That's a damn shame, I didn't know that. I don't think anybody has stone. No, there are gems to be had by Julius Caesar. How about you give me a pick for it? Yeah, I, I'll give you a pick for it. Double production with stone, that's a bit of a shame. And where's my great profit? Did I just miss out on it? Did I did I miss the great profit? Ah uh, I missed it by thirty-five years. God damn it! <laughs> uh, I don't even have the stone for the wonder. God. Do even want that damn wonder? Then it's too many hammers, really. Too many everything. What's wisdom? I don't know. I want paper. Let's trade some world maps. Let's see what the big picture here is. Let's, let's maybe pick another target and gamble again. We haven't even fully rebuilt it yet. But I'll be damned if I give up. As long as we have cities, and we're churning out at least some science. As little as it is, there is hope. But I, d I doubt there's much hope. Christian wedding between one of our citizens and, and the Celtic Empire has drawn no protest. Why should it? We're all happily Christian. These guys are even pleased. We've whacked the Indians into having, I think, still two cities left. Yeah. And they're pleased with us. I think they're nuts, if you ask me. There we go. Now what do we do? I have no plans for the long term, really. I have a bit of land. What do I do with it? No idea. I mean, I have to pick on somebody, right? I have to take on somebody. Isabella is the one that used to have my faith and then kind of deserted me and, and made me into a Christian. So I guess she's most deserving of my wrath. Then again, everybody loves me at this point. And the, and the biggest dude of them all, I refuse to help him, that's, that's just about it. He's friendly. I could do a national epic, but I don't have any marble. 
75 for the spiral minaret. How many gold does it give for a one building? Plus two from all Christian buildings. That might be worth it. But it does require me to build all those Christian buildings. And normally I'm accustomed to getting the hammers too. So let's see if we can stack it with the Apostolic Palace. Health is an issue. Okay, <laughs> somebody built that as well. I'm missing a lot of notifications, aren't I? Under the Apostolic Palace. Okay, it's just been built. Okay, here's the notification. I'm not that blind, apparently. Although, I'm, I guess I'm blind enough. Okay, so we're all united on the Christian rule. Somebody's built it. I don't know who. I can check that out before I end the video, I guess. Uh, I built it. Really? No, it's just being constructed. I didn't build it. The Vikings, they completed it. Which is Julius freaking Caesar. You know what I'll do? I'll continue for a few more turns. And then... I shall trade some world maps. And call this a recording session. Because it's been quite a long evening. And a somewhat enjoyable game. And uh, I'll upload it. Over the course of the next couple of days. You, can, you guys can judge if this microphone is worth recording with. Or if it's annoying or just a piece of crap. And I should get something decent. Let me know. Um, plus two in the spot. Excellent. Also let me know uh, what to do. Because I will trade some world maps next. So we'll get a clear picture of the world. Uh, you know the diplomatics of us all. We're all happy Christians here. I am the owner of the holy city. I am not going to get a great profit anytime soon unless I'm incredibly lucky or or somehow yeah build all kinds of temples and build it in rabbit hole. I guess I could do that. It's one of the things I'm going to do anyway. One temple, two temple, three temple. Let's try and and force a great profit out of this particular phase. Here comes paper. I cannot live without books. Yeah, I've just I'm, I'm gonna switch this turn to a new technology. Uh, you can change that as well. You can give me some advice on where to go. Um, right now I'm gonna go for education. Right. A lot of decisions in this turn all of a sudden. <coughs> a lot of buildings in such a small city. Uh, let us trade with my friends. I'm pretty sure they will be happy to give us the world map and, and everything else. Uh, how would you just give us to me? Yeah, thank you. Uh, let's go to my biggest buddy for Julius. Doesn't like me enough. Uh, that's a bit of a surprise. Sitting Bull. He does. I'm pretty sure he knows exactly where Julius is. Okay, this might take some calculations. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so there is a colony. Because there is an Indian city over here. I can just take out, but then he will be somewhere else. For a colorblind person, it's always very annoying to figure out... Sorry, I'm burping. This is the second one? Odense and Agra. Okay, so if I take care of these two, I can take this one over and, and raise that one. No more Frederick. But if I do that, I'll get a, a diplomatic hit with all of my neighbors. But it's a possibility. The Viking Empire, Julius, is situated over here. And the reason he's so freakishly strong and uh, far ahead in technology are um, he's organized so he can grow fast and he has freaking amount of gems here are the Spanish actually here are the Spanish and and oh this is Isabella Isabella is not Spanish welcome to random leaders here are the Spanish uh, which is sitting bull more Vikings, even more Vikings, and they've been expanding quite a bit, I see. 
And here are the Celtic Empires with Isabella at the end. They're actually nice and small. If I had to pick a target, I guess my right flank would be uh, one that I would like to access. It's a nice asset anyway. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at this particular point. And see what you guys come up with. I have some ideas, but I'm also pretty damn tired. So, see you later, guys. Sleep well. I'm gonna sleep well. Bye-bye.